an asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs. Then, a volcano helped life flourish. A massive meteorite impact and extreme volcanic activity occurred around the same time that Earth's large dinosaurs went extinct. But did the volcanic activity play a role in the mass extinction? Or did it actually have new life to flourish? 66 million years ago, an asteroid smashed into Earth, creating the Chisuku crater, which is 124 miles, 200 kilometers wide and is now buried underneath the Chukatin Peninsula in Mexico. The after effect of the impact caused a mass extinction, decimating Earth's dinosaur population. Just around this same time, within less than a million years, about 310, 310 and 685 miles, 500,000 kilometers of lava erupted from the Deacon Traps, a large ingenious or ignitious volcanic province and flowed over most of India and into the ocean. Researchers in a new study have taken a closer look at what actually caused the mad extinction event and whether or not the volcanic activity of the Deacon Traps would which happened to occur at a similar time, could have helped to shape the future of life on our planet. Asteroids and volcanoes. Scientists continue to debate and study the relationship between the two catastrophic events. Are the impact and volcanic activity actually, actually related to each other? The short answer is, it looks like an amazing coincidence. Pinsy Hu, an author of this new study, told Space.com, referring to the short amount of time between the two events, but people keep trying to figure out if they are machinistically linked, at least in part. So we have a new word here, which is maybe mechanis mechanistically mean relating to theories which explain phenomena in purely physical or deterministic terms. According to this new study, there is no concrete consensus or how or if the two events may have been related and it's possible that the volcanic activity might have also contributed to the mass extinction. We have consensus, which is a new word for me. It means a general agreement between a scientist in this case on how, okay, so it's likely, however, that the asteroid impact was the primary cause of the extinction. Turning back the clock to come to this conclusion, the team focused on outgassing from the volcanic event, the release of gases during a volcanic eruption. So I think that on gassing is adjective, but I'm not sure. So I think that I will check it in the dictionary. It means release or give up a substance as a gas or vapor. From the volcanic event, the release of gases during a volcanic eruption, they were able to model and analyze the effects that the eruption's carbon dioxide and surface emissions had on global temperatures over time. When the team members compare the results from their simulations and models with records of global temperatures throughout this time, they found at least 50% of the outgassing from the decent traps occurred well before the material impact. So only the asteroid impact happened at the same time as the mass extinction event means that like the asteroid, um, the killing dinosaur asteroid simultaneously happened at the same time as the mass extinction of dinosaurs have declined. Life after a catastrophe, in addition to finding evidence to support the theory that meteorite impact was the main cause of the mass extinction event, the team also found volcanic gases from the Deacon Trap could, could have supported the flourishing of different species after the mass extinction. By figuring out the timing of the outgassing, the team found evidence for support the theory that post-event volcanism suggests a role for volcanism in the delayed recovery of biodiversity, the other said in the, in the study. The other suggests that the volcanic activity and gases released from the activity would have caused changes in the carbon cycle, which would have allowed the ocean to absorb a lot of carbon dioxide, being able, being able to see a timeline of glob global temperatures throughout this time and compare them with their own simulations to suggest that this could have limited global warming that would have otherwise occurred. 
Eliminating more extreme global warming, Deccan mechanism might have contributed to shaping the rise of Xenozoic species and communities during the extinction aftermath. The study other said in press statement, it's possible that there could be other explanation for how life on Earth developed following this mass extinction. Who told space.com? She said that it's possible that this volcanic activity was happening and causing this climate change, but the activity didn't affect diversification of life on land and in the ocean. However, this new study does not show how it could have been possible.